Welcome back to Fabulous Mode Detailing. In this video, we're gonna take a look at Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Liquid Wax and the Hybrid Ceramic Detailer. Let's do it. All right, you guys, so I am definitely late to the party. This product here and the spray detailer have been out for a while now. I have had these products since they came out. I ordered them off of detailedimage.com when I made an order, and I just didn't have a chance to use them because of the garage, and I finally, this is my first chance to use this since it's been out. It's been on my shelf for a while now. It has been a while since I ordered it. But before we get this video started, I wanna let you guys know, I did not do a paint correction to this car Nothing like that. This is my grandparents' 2011 GMC Terrain. They don't want a paint correction. All they want is a wash and just put some protection on it for winter. I did do a full paint correction on this probably two, two years ago, maybe. Maybe three years ago, I don't remember. I did a full paint correction already, and you really don't want to do a full paint correction more than once on a vehicle. Uh, maybe a paint enhancement. We're not even doing that. Um, that's all they want me to do, and just throw some wax on it. So this is the perfect car for the hybrid ceramic liquid wax. Now, this product here says it does not cure to a haze. So you're gonna apply it, wait three to five minutes, so you can probably do an entire side of the car or basically almost the whole car if you just wipe it really quick. You can do it by hand or by machine. We're gonna do it by hand. I have a Meguiar's hand applicator. Um, and then once it has cured within three to five minutes, it won't dry to haze, you wipe it off. Now I've seen videos where people say it like disappears. I don't know if we'll be able to see that too well on this color car. I'm hoping we can see it, I don't know. Um, we're gonna find out here in just a minute. But we're gonna apply this first. And then tomorrow, we're gonna apply the Hybrid Ceramic Spray Detailer. Uh, this product here is what they call the missing link in between washes. So when you use the Hybrid Ceramic wax, Liquid Wax in between washes, you can use this on dusty cars, fingerprints, or even on a clean car, just to add some uh, a layer of protection, like a topper, some SO2 protection. You can use this on uh, waxes, sealants, ceramic coatings. It's a, it, from what I understand, this is a fantastic topper. I have seen other channels make videos on this and they absolutely love this. So excuse the mess of my garage, you're gonna see a mess. As you can see, there's a board there. It's because I had some electrical work done and I had to run power out to that tool shed. You can see where the, the yard was trenched. Right there, all the way back there. So I have yet to put that board back up and I've got stuff just kind of laying around here everywhere. So just ignore that. So here we go. Here is the color. It's actually a really pretty color in my opinion. It's hard to see defects and that's why, they, they, I mean, they weren't worried about there are some swirls. They don't care about a paint correction. They don't. They absolutely don't care. So we're just gonna throw some wax on just like they asked me to do. But the paint, let me see. If I can probably show you right here. You can see some imperfections. Not too bad. It's a good color to do this on. Of course, everybody always complains when you don't use a black car, but black cars aren't the color that every single person owns on the road. So not every detail is a black color car. You can see it's in good shape. A few scratches like that right there. Other than that, I mean, it's in really good shape for the year. It has some gloss. It's not mind-blowing gloss or anything like that. Hopefully the hybrid ceramic liquid wax will add to that or make it better, I guess I should say. Run right across the back here. And then around here. I do need to do something with the wheels. I'm not gonna put the liquid wax on that. Well, you know what? I might just to do it, just, just the heck of it. Put on the chrome mirrors. It says it works good on chrome. Let me show you the hood and see if we can see. Yeah, right there, just a few. Not bad at all, not bad at all. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna apply it to the whole hood, show you guys what it looks like once I'm done applying it. We're gonna shake it up really good. Apply it to the whole entire hood. circles, straight lines, whatever you want to do. This is not abrasive. I start doing circles and then I end up doing this when I'm doing a wax. And that's it. We're going to move on up. Go to the middle of the hood. It's just the way I've always done it. Got plenty on there. They say to make two passes, so we'll just consider that two passes. It's weird, this is like, it is kind of disappearing over here. Like I've seen in other videos. I've got 
plenty on here. Just massage it into the paint. Been doing a lot of coatings, but here recently I've done a couple wax jobs, and I'll be honest with you guys, I really enjoyed it. Forgot how enjoyable waxes are. You don't have to worry about high spots, and you don't have to worry about cure time, I mean, very much, you know, getting it off fast enough, or not getting it off fast enough, or getting it off too fast, because then you don't have, the coating doesn't hold up. So this has been a nice change of pace here recently. Waxes still are not dead, in my opinion. They're still a good form of protection. They may not be as good as a full ceramic coating, but they are still a good form of protection. So I did this a few minutes ago, as you know. It's really hard to see. You can see if you pay attention to this light right here. You can kind of see it. It is disappearing like people say it does. That's kind of cool. And then I just did this side, so it's still kind of wet. See if we can see it disappear on the chrome as it's curing. I don't know what happens if you wait too long to, uh, yeah, you can actually see it's disappearing. That's actually pretty cool. Look at that. That's pretty neat. All right, let me see. You can see, I can see it in the light. It is ready to come off because it does not smear. I'm gonna use a Grios Garage PFM wax removal towel that I probably need to update and get some new ones, but because I've been so long since I've used them. All right, let's see how easy this is. Oh, it's a little tacky, a little grabby. I'm just gonna do half the hood so I can show you guys. And it's definitely grabby on the towel. Oh, that feels good though. Oh man, that really brought the gloss out. Static electricity building up here. That really brought the gloss out. Wow, that oh, worked oh, pretty good. Not bad at all. I'll show you guys what it looks like. should be able to see where I haven't removed it yet. Yeah, right there, it's dull. Look at the gloss, though. That gloss is fantastic. Not bad at all. All right, guys, you guys probably can't even see it on the camera. I don't know until I edit, but what you should notice is you should see a lot of gloss um, as I wipe it off. Oh yeah. Oh man, that wipes off. It's easy, but it's grabby. I hate grabby waxes, but it still comes off easy. It's not leaving any res, oh man, it's so smooth. Not leaving any residue or dust behind, which is always awesome. You see that? That looks pretty good. Now, you guys are only gonna see this indoors because it's almost dark, yeah, not completely dark, but it's, it's overcast and almost dark because it's after six. But uh, tomorrow's supposed to rain all day, so we're not gonna see this outside. I'll show you guys the finished results here in the garage. When you flip the towel though, that is extremely smooth. You can see it's still there. A little cloudy looking. Wish I could actually show you. Yeah, you can kind of see the streaks from it curing. See how easy that is to wipe off though? I mean, it doesn't get much easier than that when it comes to waxes. Look at that now. All right, so ceramic liquid wax is done. 
put it on all the chrome other than the wheels. I've done the wheels. I'm not going to use it on that, I don't think. But it definitely added gloss. No doubt about it. Now, as far as application removal, you know, it's nothing to write home about. Just typical wax. My biggest thing is seeing how these two work together and what, what the results are going to be. But see, this is where I was earlier. You noticed that look at the lights. It definitely added gloss for sure. Yeah, look at that. Right there, it looks great. Looks really good. Very, very easy. Very user friendly. But these two are meant to be worked together. So I'm gonna go inside and eat because dinner's done. As you can see, it's getting dark out. No sun, hasn't been sunny at all today. Go inside and eat dinner, come back out, put the spray detailer on it. And we'll see what the final result looks like. Okay, so it's not the same night because last night I got done eating dinner and I came back outside to put this on so I could get this back to my grandma. And it was raining when I got back out. It rained all pretty much all night. It's still raining right now. So it's going to stay in the garage. So let's go ahead and put the hybrid ceramic detailer on it. So it's been on here. The hybrid ceramic liquid wax has been on for, let's see, about 14 hours. If not, actually probably longer than that. Probably close to 20 hours. Um, this is spray on, wipe off. And it just says to use a towel to basically wipe it up and then turn it over to a dry portion and then buff it off. And it says, uh, if light streaking occurs, spray product directly onto a towel and repeat steps two and three. So if you get streaking, at least they tell you how to get it off. And it says, on uh, step number four says, return to the damp portion of cloth for each initial wipe. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use um, the gray microfiber for the initial wipe. And then I'll use the blue for the buff. So this one will stay wet and this one should, for the most part, stay dry if this works the way I think it's going to. I'm gonna shake it up really good. Let me show you guys where the level's at. After I shook it though, it's about right here, right about this line on this grip, right about there. And I've never used this, so. Doesn't really say how much to use, so we'll just go with that for now. We'll see. We're just gonna, I'm barely putting any pressure down. I'm basically just working it across the area. That wipes in really easy. Okay, we'll go to the blue towel. I like to use different colors on products like this, that way I remember which one's my wet and which one's my dry. Very, very simple. That flashed really quick. Let's go ahead, we'll do the other side. Good. I know this is not the best color to show you guys on. I get it. But it's hard to see. So it smells really good, just like the liquid wax did. And I'm using the, the wet side of this gray towel. Barely any pressure at all. Okay, wipe in. Go with my blue towel. We will buff it off. And this is just applying a topper to it. Um, I can tell you wax mode, if you guys haven't watched this channel, you guys can go check his channel out. Um, Kyle does awesome durability tests and stuff like that. Beating up products sometimes too. But the ceramic liquid wax lasted about four months on his car. But adding the topper to it will extend the life of the wax. So, but he lives in the Florida sun. Obviously, his weather conditions are different than what mine is, and different than what maybe what yours is. He gets this really hot sun beating on the car all day long. I don't see a change in gloss. To be honest with you, I need to buy a gloss meter one of these days. But as you guys can see. The paint looks really good. No streaking. I don't think you're having an issue with streaking unless you oversaturate your towel. We're just gonna spray it on. And then work it in. I hope the camera picked that up, how, how quickly that flashed. 
which is exactly what you want out of a spray detailer. You want a flash, quick flash time is what you want. We'll put it on the mirror next. By the way, I should mention that the ceramic liquid wax says it can be used on pretty much anything, but it does say not meant to be used on glass. So keep that in mind. What I'm thinking is you guys be able to see it flash faster on the mirror. Okay. Oh, that's way too much for a mirror. Just wipe it in. As you can see, it's still a little wet, but it's actually, it's actually flashing away. I mean, on its own. And that's so simple to use. I did apply the uh, ceramic liquid wax to these last night. I didn't show it on video. So we're just going to top it with this. Two spritz. I'm using my utility towels that I normally use for wheels. Now I don't expect the wax or this uh, silica spray sealant to last more than probably a month or two on wheels because wheels get hot. This is just to just add a little bit of protection to them. As you guys can see, this stuff flashes extremely fast, which is really awesome. I know I said that several times in this video, but I like to get my point across. So. And the smell of this stuff is just absolutely amazing. My wife just walked in here in the garage, said this garage smelled extremely good. It just smells really nice. It makes using a product like this so much more enjoyable. As you guys can see, like right there, flashed really fast, and the wheels look great. All right, you guys, it is done, and I cannot be happier. You can do the wax and the spray seal if you want to do it all in one day. You could do it in about an hour, easy, and be done. Uh, or you can wait till the next day or just use the ceramic detailer the next time you wash it, or if it's dusty or got fingerprints on it. It looks awesome. Wheels look great. Once again, for a car that I did no paint correction at all on, I am very, very happy with the gloss. I like these down shots like this. I mean, look at the gloss right there. That is just fantastic. Both products extremely easy to use. I guess I should show you the roof. Show you the hood. Put it on all the chrome across the whole front end. Very happy with it. All right, let's do a quick water test and uh, end this video. All right, so let's go ahead and do a quick water test and we are going to blow dry with my uh, blow dryer. And I'm using my Ryobi Easy Clean 18 volt pressure washer. If you guys haven't seen this before on my channel, I do have a review on it. It's a battery operated, that way can do it in the garage. Cause I don't have any water right here. So let's use the rinse setting first. Look at that. That is very hydrophobic. As you can see, the water's just running down and has beads inside beads as it's running down. Oh, hang on a minute. I'll get you up here and show you this bead right here. See, it's got a bead inside a bead. So does that one. Like I said, it's it's slick. Very tight beading. Looks really good. All right, let's put it on the 15 degree setting. Pressure washer. Man, that looks so good, you guys. That looks extremely good. I'm very, very happy with that. Let's try it on a fender. Wow. 
Water just falls right off of it, right on the wheel. There you go, I mean, that looks amazing. I can sit here and do this all day long. All right, let's see how easy it is to dry. All right, here we go. Get you guys in my hands. Oops, sorry. Let's try this. Let's try this wheel. All right, you guys saw it right there. Both of these products work great. I have no problem telling you guys that I recommend them and I would have no problem telling you go out and buy them. The great thing about these Meguiar's products here is you don't have to order them online if you don't want to. I order them off Detailed Image, um, but you can go to Walmart, uh, AutoZone, Advanced Auto Parts, pretty much any auto parts store, and you can buy both these products. I've been in the stores now and I've seen them on the shelf. And you can do it in about an hour once you wash the car. That is awesome. And look at the hydrophobics, which, I say this in every video, when I, do, when I make a video and I show you guys the hydrophobics right away, hydrophobics from the get-go don't really mean much. It just shows you the, the surface tension of it just as you apply it. Uh, just shows you how awesome the beads look, you know, and we all love seeing it, but it doesn't really mean anything right off the bat. It, that, that's something we want to look for down the road to let us know when the, when the wax and the spray sealant is starting to fade, we'll know as the hydrophobics start to get less and less and less and ends up turning into a sheeter. And even when it starts sheeting, doesn't mean it's gone, but that's when you kind of know, okay, it's time to reapply. So that's why I'd like to do the hydrophobic test for you guys. Both products, easy, 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 easy. And I love saying that because it's something that we all look for. We look for something as easy as possible, as fast as possible with good results. Both of these give that to you. So the ceramic liquid wax, very easy to apply. I'm trying to figure out, I can't really see in the bottle, but I think it's like right there. Um, very easy to apply. Uh, when you start to remove it, it's a little bit tacky. Even after you wait the three to five minutes cure time, it's a little bit grabby, a little bit tacky as I call it. But as soon as you get that wiped off and there's no dusting, it leaves no residue behind. When you dust and you put it over on the other side, the dry side and you buff it, it is slick. Extremely easy, user-friendly product to use. Uh, you guys would absolutely love uh, this product if you ever get a chance to try it. I have no complaints out of it at all. Don't know what durability is, but I wanted to use these two in conjunction because they're meant to be used with each other. The ceramic detailer, hybrid ceramic detailer, extremely easy also. Spray it on, wipe it in, grab a dry towel, buff it off. And I used the one wet towel the whole entire time, and I used the one dry towel in the entire car, now, it's not a dark color car, so I don't know if there would be streaking on dark color car. I cannot answer that question. But as far as this car is concerned, I see nothing very, very easy to use. Also, I forgot to mention, so see where the level is at now on this bottle. We were at this line right there, and this is a 26 ounce bottle. So you can probably get three to four cars out of this one bottle, if not more. If I may have used too much, I don't know, but I didn't use hardly any at all in that entire car, so very happy with that. Both products just give me outstanding results. The gloss, the gloss right here speaks for itself. And even on the chrome wheels and the mirrors and stuff, it just works great. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, please hit that share button. It may be helpful for somebody else. But while you're down there, hit that subscribe button. Join the Fab family. We would love to have you. And we'll see you in the next video.